Well folks, welcome back to the workshop. Today we have Milwaukee Hoover on for a pair, or vacuum, cordless vacuum. Now I don't have much faith in actually getting this up and running again, but I'm going to do a video on it anyway, just in case it can be fixed. But more so just to show why this is a waste of money. Now this Milwaukee vac isn't exactly cheap. She's the M18 CV, so she's an older brushed motor, but she's not cheap to buy. You can buy these for anywhere from between 130 to 160 odd euro. So they're not cheap and not something you want to be just throwing away. But with these here, generally when something goes wrong, that's exactly what you're doing. Throwing it away. They're not repairable. They're not really a professional tool designed to last. They're cheap and cheerful. Dump it when it breaks type job. So we're going to show you today why that is. Now this is trying to run. You can hear that high pitched squeal. And there's something wrong with that trigger. She's sticking on something. But she's not actually starting up. Just in case I'll try another battery too. Same thing. Right, she's not running. She's attempting to start. The motor's struggling, but it's not actually starting up. So we'll tear into it, see what the actual problem is. More than likely it's going to be a seized motor or a burnt out motor. We'll show you the inside of it as well. up top this is your actual motor unit here it's not really a motor unit it is just a DC motor and the brushes are still there so it's not worn out Actual insides of this is not impressive, especially for the money you're paying for it. And worse than the actual quality of the inside is what's available for it. This is just a big plastic cover. Clean all that out of the way. Now, the switch, just a tiny little board and a little micro switch up here. This here mechanism is just levers. This doesn't do anything. That's the only switch there, this little small one. Maybe small and cheap, but it's only an 18 volt tool. It's more than enough to actually run this wee motor. Not a problem there. Plus, if it does fail, you can easily just buy this online for cheap. It only cost a couple of euro. Not so if you buy it from Milwaukee though, mind you. That's only if you just go and source it yourself. It's just a common part Milwaukee sell themselves. Now, After that, more plastic cover, your filter, which has obviously been cleaned a few times, just a folded paper filter, it has been used, that could be one of the problems with it, little foam insulation beads of blocking the intake. And here, will just be a DC motor. Which 
I'm going to snuff these now so we can get under it. Get rid of that piece. This is your actual motor unit, or DC motor, or Hoover motor. One tiny little DC motor here, and inside is a little impeller for actually creating a suction for your Hoover. And that looks to be the problem. It's not turning at all. So is the motor gone? Is seized up or is it the fan inside and this is a non serviceable unit by the looks of it yeah she's sealed this lip has actually rolled over so this top piece here would have been pressed on like a lid and then folded down and around. Now it can sometimes happen as because these aren't all that well sealed dirt, dust and grit, these wee beads start getting on, getting jammed up on the impeller or the fan inside but normally it's going to be the motor, the DC motor where the bearings have failed or the motor's burnt out this motor's not burnt out but the bearings could well have failed these ones aren't as bad it's a decent wee motor it actually has a bearing up on the top if it has one up here it probably has one down there but the dust can get on and seize them up but sometimes it's worth checking just in case it's the fan seized yeah, it's very very tight Mind you, it's starting to free up. Maybe. She's going tight and then she's going loose again. She's going slack there. Now she's going tight, maybe. Maybe it is just then we beads jammed up inside. I'll try to blow this out again. Things dropping out. Now, after all that, no joy. She's free enough, but she's just one stuff again. You can hear now that it is actually this bottom bearing just completely collapsed. There's actually little pieces of the cage. Stuck to the side of the motor housing as well, down on here. So that bearing has failed. And that is one of the reasons why I don't like this. But let me show you why exactly. Let's arrange all these pieces into the parts you can buy, and the parts that aren't actually available. So first off, your actual whole motor cover. All of this, not available. this not available you can buy the spout you can buy the very top of it can't get that you can get the air filter you can get the door assembly 
everything else not available there's your parts the only other parts you can actually buy for the server as in the handle here so you can buy the switch which isn't actually the switch it's just this plastic trigger this boy here and a little lever you can buy that for 15 euro you can buy the little levers and springs here which cost a couple of euro a piece and you can buy the electronics which is typical milwaukee as the switch itself the electronic board and the battery retainer that cost about 80 euro that's it 80 euro electronic unit which the main part you'll be replacing is the actual switch itself which cost pennies the actual trigger which they call the switch would cost 15. apart from those few wee bits everything else in this pile not available not sold as a part this is about it your top cover which costs about 30 euro your paper filter which costs another 30 euro for a filter your nozzle for the front costs another 20 and your bottom cover which is your door which comes as, as an assembly with a little latch on it that costs another 50 euro so if you break off your door you're basically buying a new machine anyway so that's it these four parts and these two parts not including the plastic cover is all that's available not only can you not buy the motor on its own you can't even buy the motor assembly they do not sell this separately not even a little foam insert everything else in this not available for sale so if you break your cover if you crack your purse specs box for the actual dust collection that's it it's scrap but the prices they're charging you wouldn't be fixing it anyway that is just what well, you do not recommend Milwaukee tools fair enough not all of them are the same this was more of a gimmick item but still you're not a really professional tool brand if you don't supply spare parts only selling five or six spare parts is not supplying spares for a machine that there is just a joke now as well just stick it back together again for the customer even though it ain't even fixed designed for dust collection but really they're not designed to deal with dust no need to actually wire this up again the motor's gone it's not going to work but i will just cover that live lead just in case somebody would put on a battery that would short out and destroy their battery so i'll just clamp that so it can't short Generally, an 18 volt cordless vacuum cleaner isn't going to be all that much worth fixing anyway. But you would still like the option when you're paying 140 euro for a cordless tool and it's only lasting two or three years. 
Now I know a lot of people in the comments, especially from America, will start saying five year warranty with Milwaukee, just send it away for a warranty repair. Not here in Ireland or the UK or most of Europe. Here it's one year warranty. Now you can extend that to a three year warranty if you register it online within the first month of buying it. Other than that, it's just one year. So if your Milwaukee tools here break within a year, you're fine. If they break outside of the year and you don't have the three year warranty, extend it online. That's it. You have to pay to get it fixed or else dump it. But generally, for Milwaukee tools, you're dumping it. That's why I just do not recommend them. Now I know most cordless hoovers or vacuums, they're probably not worth fixing anyway. But still, you would like the option of buying parts if you need to. Sometimes some people get a lend of a tool and they end up breaking it. They want to get it fixed again before they give it back to the person. They do not want to go out and buy a brand new tool for the one they just borrowed. Instead, they will just pay that extra bit to get it fixed. Well, whether it be a motor or a casing or whatever, if they crack or damage it or the motor stops working on them, they would rather pay even more than half the price of the machine to get it fixed instead of paying full price for a brand new machine for something that they borrowed. So generally, professional tools, you'll want to be able to fix them. You'll want the spare parts. It's no good when you can't even buy the spare parts, especially something like a motor. So the Milwaukee M18 CV vacuum, definitely not worth that kind of money. Especially when it's basically just a disposable tool that you can buy online for about a quarter of the price. It's just not worth that kind of money.